Happy holidays. I am going to create a very beautiful buffet that is, would be so easy for you to be able to remag or at least be inspired, you know, get a few ideas out of this. Um, when I set up for the holidays, one of the things I am certain not to do to myself is overwhelm. Uh, I never want to feel like, even though my house looks like a Christmas explosion, which I love it that way, I don't ever want to feel like I have to remake everything from scratch. So I'll usually start out with something that's already set up a sideboard, um, a buffet, that kind of thing, the mantle, I've got basic things in it. Sometimes I'll pull things off and just add new things in. So this is a great example, this sideboard. Uh, all I had on this sideboard were just um, stacks of books and candles and that sort of thing, so it's easy for me to shuffle those somewhere else, and you know, there's always another spot for books in my life. Um, I kept the lamps on the buffet. Uh, these are very groovy 70s. Um, lamps, and I was never looking actually for these when I found them, but I love that they're this gorgeous gold and this cool tapestry shade I think is pretty with this mix. The red buffet, this um, antique zebra rug we've had forever, and um, I even think this is going to be interesting in the mix. Um, I know typically you wouldn't probably want to combine something like this, but I love the cool bohemian feel of it. You know, it's easy going, it adds an interesting twist. So I'm going to actually put this together with you and create a beautiful Christmas Eve buffet. I always cut a bunch of greens for the holidays. I literally go down on the driveway with the boys with my big cutters and my really, really oversized gloves. Um, whenever I cut greens, I put on leather gloves because like cedar and things like that just poke into your hands. So I actually cut these and they're so pretty. Um, I leave them very, very long and um, really all I do is I just start, you know, laying not to light the whole house on fire. Um, I'll just start to lay them down just to kind of get a feeling for, you know, where I'm going. And sometimes it takes me a little monkeying around to see the placement, but I like these can kind of come off of the buffet too. I think that's really pretty. But they smell so good and they're so beautiful and they will really stay green uh, for quite some time. So, you know, it's as simple as that. Um, I have these oversized candle holders, which I actually took off of our mantle. I can lose the gloves now. <laughs> and, um, you know, these are very pretty um, just anywhere in here. So, you know, this is nice like this and I've got a shorter one here too. Um, I'm just going to sneak in here. And, you know, you can see it's, but I love the height um, that these candle holders bring. Um, so this other stuff I keep around um, in the basement. You know, these things I've had for a long time. Um, I will admit um, they've gotten a little chewed on over the years, but who cares? No one's looking that closely again. You know, you always hear me say that. And I love the pop of color in this mix because it's kind of a neutral story. Um, but these are beautiful. This is an angel that I have had forever. It's a beautiful carved angel. I keep this out year round, but I love it at Christmas because I love the way it mixes in with everything. So I'm going to nestle this beauty in here. These are so interesting, these funky little branches and things. You know, if you go to the craft store, there's this, I know all craft stores across America, have an aisle that is sort of this Christmas experience explosion, if you will, of this sort of stuff. You know, no time for me to glitter the branches, so these are awesome. The other cool thing about them is they're very bendy, so I can, you know, kind of do whatever I want. I've used these at Easter, Halloween, and now at Christmas. At Halloween, they're the scary trees by the gingerbread house. So, but they're cool, and I like a little bit of um, sparkle put into the mix. It's really pretty. This literally has last year's boxwood still on it, and I don't care. And um, I don't know what I used it for last year, but I found it in one of my boxes of stuff. And it's just pretty hanging there. That was so fast, and that's literally how I put things together. I gather up a bunch of stuff, I usually set it down on the floor, and then I start kind of creating a mix. And I see how it comes together, and sometimes I move things around a little bit, but all in all, I think it turns out beautifully, and it's always magical.